So on this problem right here is y equals sine two of x. These are the parent points, that's the critical points of sine x. All right, we see k is two. So what we're gonna do is we're going to multiply all these x values by the inverse of k. All right, so in that case, the inverse of k is one half. So all these x values get multiplied by one half. So zero one half, zero times one half is zero. Power over two times one half. All right, here you go. I over two times one half. All right, for you guys that still struggle to multiply fractions, it's the top times the top, bottom times the bottom. All right. Sorry about that. Power of four. And then right here, that's a whole number pi over one times one half. That's going to give us pi over two. And then three pi over two times one half is this three pi over four. And lastly, two pi times one half is gonna be two pi over two, which reduces to pi. All right, so the question was, how do I put this in? Well, look at our scale right here, all right? Our scale, all right, our ending value is pi. So we're gonna put this over, we're gonna put it in force. All right, we're we'll breaking it down into force. So let me zoom in for you. So X label. We'll put it in four. Well, I'm gonna just do it in pi. So you can count with me. my Y scale will be one. really all you need is this ending value right here. All right, then I put done. Now I got a thing in the way right here, so let me move it so you can see. Pi, all right, I'm gonna come back to that in a second. But anyway, just plot your points, just click on them. So zero, zero, um, power four, remember, and, and I'm gonna just write it right here so you can see it, power four, that'd be one fourth, Two pi over four or pi halves. Three pi over four will be this line. And then this would be four pi over four or pi. Alright. So that's all our values. So zero zero pi over four one. Um pi halves zero. Three pi over four negative one. And then pi is zero. Now that's the graph, but what you gotta do is account for this little thing right here. I don't know why they do it, but you need to put that where it's supposed to go pi, like that. All right, and then you reach the allowed points. All right, cool. Now submit your answer. All right, and there's your green check. All right, let's do one more. Oh, how'd I get here? Let's go back. Oh, is that a solution? Yeah, that's the solution. So we're good. That's just an extended view, but there you go. There's your graph. All right. All right. Now let's do one more problem. Let's jump right into a level three problem. All right. <clears throat> In a nutshell, this is sign again. Let, let me get a cosine one. Just so bear with me. Alright, for this cosine problem right here, I had to keep getting clicking give up to get a new problem until they gave me a cosine. But anyway, alright, cosine of X. Remember those points are
All right, there are the pairing points. So first, we need to identify K. Okay. So K is two. So the inverse of K would be one half. So I'm going to multiply all these X values by the inverse of K, or we'll do one half X, one half times all the X values. So that gives me zero, one, however two times one half, remember, you'll multiply the top with the top and the bottom with the bottom, so power four. All right, then power two, negative one, and then three pi over four, zero, and then pi over one. And then we have this negative right here. So all the y values get multiplied by a negative. So the x values don't change, but that becomes a negative one. Power four, zero. Power two, that becomes a one. So it multiplied by negative times negative is positive. And then this one becomes pi negative one. Oh, I got it. All right. So now we're going to make our scale. This is the last transformation. So now we just make our scale. <coughs> our A scale is going to be about ones. And then we need to end with pi. So I'm going to put pi. So now, again, we're going to come back to that. But this is pi over 4. I'm just coming up fourths. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, and seven. So we have zero one, zero negative one. Uh, when the guy come back, y'all wait, man. Zero negative one. Um, power of four zero. Because remember, power of four is one four, two four, three fourths. So two fourths or power of two would be one. Three power of four zero. One, two, three pi over four. Four pi over four, which is pi, is negative one. All right, but you gotta remember to put this thing at this ending x value like that. All right, then scroll down here and hit submit. Are you sure? Yes, there's our green chunk. All right, so that is how you graph sine and cosine. On Delta Math. I hope this helps. Any more questions, please let me know.